So if it sprays at all, it sprays really spritzy little like pieces onto your hair, <laughs> which is really frustrating. Amazing, I love these. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got another long overdue empties video for y'all. This is just jam full, lots of hairspray, but other things too. I just wait way too long every single time for my empties videos. So I'm gonna try to blow through these products as quickly as I can, give you some little mini reviews on these products and just show you what's in my trash. So let's get into it. So like you probably saw, and as is the case in pretty much every single one of my empties videos, I have a lot of hairspray empties. The Garnier Fructis Anti-Humidity Hairspray. I either use volumizing or the flexible control. I love these. The volumizing is my favorite, but if they're out of stock of this one, I'll get this one. These are affordable. They're awesome. They smell good. They give your hair a good hold without making it crunchy. It's just my holy grail go-to around three or four dollar hairspray. That's just awesome. Okay, I just decided to put this piece of poop in my empties without it being all gone. This is the Boosted Blowout Heat Spray. Lasting volume and heat protection. I hate this. I feel like it weighs my hair down, but also the sprayer doesn't work well. So if it sprays at all, it sprays really spritzy little like pieces onto your hair. <laughs> which is really frustrating. So I don't like this uh, at all. Couldn't even use up the whole thing. I was like determined, finally just gave up because it's really bad. I used up an Herbal Essence shampoo. This says Shine Collection Brilliance. This was the green one, I think. And it's kind of one of their like old school ones that they brought back. And I really do like this. I think it's a great shampoo. It smells the same, so it's kind of nostalgic and just a good shampoo. Then I also used up the White Rain Moisturizing Shampoo. This is the coconut smelling one, coconut and hibiscus. Smells really yummy. Not that amazing at cleaning necessarily. It doesn't do a lot for your hair, I don't think. But I like using these kind of cheaper shampoos for sort of like my first wash of my hair because after I use dry shampoo, I always have to wash my hair at least twice. So I always like to use a cheaper shampoo on kind of the first round. So it's good for that because it's super cheap. I feel like I always have one of these in my empties. This is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Highlight Activating Enhancing Shampoo. This one is for darker blondes, but I've also used the one for lighter blondes. This is great. I feel like it cleans my hair really well, gets just, you know, product buildup and stuff out of my hair, which will usually like that product buildup weighs down your hair for anybody, especially if you have fine hair though. So I feel like it does a great job of that and just kind of brings back the vibrance of my blonde hair. So I love this. This is the Herbal Essence Honey I'm Strong Strengthening Conditioner. I really do like this. I think it smells amazing, but it does a really great job of conditioning. I felt like it was very hydrating, but not heavy or greasy feeling. So I was really impressed with this. I think it's an awesome conditioner and really affordable. I used up several dry shampoos and surprisingly, I actually like them all. First is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Coconut and Exotic Tropical. This smells so amazing, like coconut and pineapple and pina colada, just yummy. And Batiste is a more affordable dry shampoo, so that's another reason I love it so much. It's awesome. The Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This is awesome. Really cleans well. Love that. The Oscar Blondie Pronto Dry Shampoo Spray. This was also really good. This kind of had like a cleaner sort of a smell, like a lemony cleaner smell. So the scent is a little bit strange, but I did like how it worked in my hair. And then the Chlorine, what is this? Extra Gentle Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. This is awesome. This is really a good dry shampoo. Really cleans the hair well gives it a little bit extra life back to it. So does this one, really all of these do. So I love this one too, but I would say my favorite is probably still Batiste just because it's so affordable. I went through a Bath and Body Works shower gel. This is the Oahu Coconut Sunset. Smells really yummy, I love it. And then I used up some hair care samples. These look disgusting. These are the L'Oreal Nutra Gloss High Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. It says Glyco Silk. I don't really remember how I liked these, but I used all the sample up, so that probably meant that I did like them. Um, and usually I like L'Oreal shampoos, so I think that was good from what I can remember. These are the Mint Almond Oil 
thickening shampoo and conditioner. I remember I really did like these and was impressed with them. Do they have any scent that I can still smell? No, but I remember thinking I liked the scent. It says invigorates and amplifies free of sulfates and parabens. I remember really liking these, so I would look into actually getting these, like a full size of them. I really liked this mask from Amika. This is the nourishing mask. It says sea buckthorn berry, really hydrating, really nice on the hair, but you know, if you use it in the right way, I didn't feel like it was overly heavy on my hair. I just felt like it was a really nice treatment. And Amika products smell absolutely incredible. So amazing with the scent. Yes. Kind of a boring one. I used up a deodorant. The Secret pH Balanced Spring Breeze. I really do like this. It smells nice. If I use a deodorant with an antiperspirant, then Secret is one of my go-tos. Works well. It's easy to find at the store. Yeah, this is a CVS brand of the oil-free eye makeup remover. I really did like this. This worked so well, and it was a more affordable option. I was just super impressed with how well this worked. It really did get off the eye makeup. I also used up the Bobbi Brown Instant Longwear Makeup Remover. This worked really well. It's a little sample of it. Um, I remember, I think this was a little bit oilier of a formula. I think from what I can remember, but it worked well. It got the eye makeup off, but I would much rather get the less expensive one. This is the um, Prestige Total Intensity Eye Makeup Remover. This works really well, like for hard to remove stuff on your eyes, like something that would be like a pigment or a glitter or something. I feel like this works really well, but it is a little bit oilier feeling, but it works. I also used up the Michael Todd Liposome Antioxidant Moisturizer DMAE and Hyaluronic Acid. It says moisturizes and firms fights premature skin aging, all skin types except oily. I'm kind of oily combo, really kind of more combo, but this still worked for me. I thought it was a really nice treatment for my skin. I didn't notice like vast, incredible differences, but I thought it was a nice treatment. And especially it's nice that it's more on the natural side. This is the Josie Marin Argon Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. I love this. It's a really nice, like moisturizer, but it has a really high SPF in it. I It has an interesting texture. You kind of have to get used to it because it sort of feels a little bit heavy on the skin, but then it sinks in. And I didn't find that it was breaking up my makeup or anything. So I just really liked it because it was more on the natural side, had a really high SPF and was just a good daytime moisturizer too. I used up a little size of Michael Todd Pumpkin Nutrient Rich Facial Mask. I love this. If you don't like the smell of pumpkin, you will hate this mask because it smells like pumpkin pie. But I love the smell of pumpkin, so I really do like this. It feels a little bit tingling on the skin, um, and I just feel like my skin always looks so much better after using this at night. It says, moisturizes and nourishes all skin types except sensitive. I could see that just because it's a little bit tingling feeling on the skin, but man, it's awesome. It really works well. I used up several sheet masks. This is the Sephora Pomegranate Mask says anti-fatigue and energizing. Really liked this one. I love the Sephora sheet masks. I think they're awesome. Love, love, love these Bio Republic ones. Actually, I think I featured the Aloe one in one of my monthly favorites. This is the Cucumber Breeze Soothing Fiber Mask with vitamin E for all skin types. Love that one. Green Tea Detox Purifying Fiber Mask, vitamin E for all skin types. Love that too. I think the aloe is my favorite though, the aloe rescue revitalizing fiber mask. These are just awesome. Oh my goodness. It felt so good on the skin and I really felt like my skin looked different after using these. Love these. A couple of foundations here. I didn't actually use up this one, but it just needs to be thrown away because it's really old. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. I had gotten it in 20 Natural Ivory. This really doesn't work for my combination skin. It kind of breaks down during the day and just doesn't stick around. So it doesn't really work for my skin type, but I do know that's a favorite for a lot of people. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. Love, such a good foundation. I wear it in 2-in-1 Desert Beige. That's more of my summer color, but I can make it work during the winter too. Um, just awesome, holy grail, great foundation. It really sticks around for a long time. This wears like iron. I've had this for a really long time, but I do love it. This is Beauty Control brand. 
This is the Perfecting Wet Dry Finish Foundation. I wear it in N2. It's just a great powder foundation. Really works well. Got some mascaras here. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I liked this okay as far as what it did for my lashes, but Maybelline mascaras smudge really bad on me. So that's why that one's not a favorite of mine. The Torina Tarantino Fleur de Lash. Love this. Really gives a lot of volume. It's a great mascara. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. This was the waterproof formula. Um, I don't really prefer waterproof, but sometimes I get it for vacation and things. So I love the Lash Blast line though, in general. Love the orange one. The non-waterproof I prefer, but it's still a great mascara. The Super Sizer. This is awesome. It can get a little bit clumpy, but it's just such a good mascara. Like if you keep kind of working with it and separating the lashes, you really can get a lot of volume, a lot of length, just very vavoom lashes with this mascara. This is what I've got on today, actually. I used to have a couple of concealers. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi. I wear it in ivory. This is a really nice brightening concealer. It's really easy to blend. It's great coverage. Love this so much. The only negative is that it goes away quickly. It's really, really easy to use it up. Um, this is the NYX HD Concealer. I wear it in CW03. This is awesome. Great coverage. It's kind of a multitasker sort of a concealer. I love this one so much. These up some brow products. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I wear it in taupe, so I went through two of those. Love this. It's a really great tiny little pencil for doing your brows. This is the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. I wear it in blonde. I stink and love this stuff so much. I feel like it's a better, easier to use version of the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I like the color better, it just matches me better. This is my holy grail brow combo right here. I use this first and then I'll kind of like do a little bit of touch up and kind of perfecting of the brow with the pencil. But this is kind of my first step. Amazing. I love these. And then to finish up, lots of liners here. First is the Tarte Precision Longwear Liner. I liked this okay. Um, I still prefer this one, which is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. I wear it in ultra black. This is just kind of my go-to. That's why I love it so much. So even though I like this okay, I think this is just as good and it's cheaper. And you wouldn't be able to tell, but this is the Benefit Bad Gal Waterproof Liner. This works really well. It's a very long wearing liner, really black. Love this. Again, you can't even tell what it is, but this is the Urban Decay. <laughs> Look at this sucker. That tells you how much I love this. This is the um, Black Velvet Pencil. This wears like Iron. I love this pencil so much. This is one of the Jordana liners. I don't remember what these are called and clearly I can't read the name anymore, but I think these are really good, especially for the price. They stick around pretty well on the eyes and in the waterline. Not the best, but for the price they're not bad, but I love these the most. These are the Rimmel Scandalize um, pencils. I have one in brown and one in black. These are awesome really long wearing, not quite as long as the Urban Decay, but really, really close. And for $4 versus like 20-ish, this is a really, really great option. I love these pencils. All right guys, so that wraps up this long overdue empties video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful to hear some little mini reviews on these products. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below some of your holy grail products that you find in your empties a lot. I love knowing your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.